So the challenge, for me anyway, is to try to think about places and the land as a series of layers, right? And of course, when we think of layers, we think sort of archaeologically that those ones that are buried, well, they're, they're dead and gone, right? But what we see now, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to argue, is that there's a very strong revitalization in indigenous communities right now, some more than others. But when I say revitalization, what I mean is that people are reconnecting with the language, with the ceremonies, with the societies. A lot of the um, objects, ceremonial objects like bundles that were uh, lost for different reasons and were in museums in Europe, are now being brought back. They're being repatriated. Right? And those are like textbooks, right? As soon as they're opened, people peel back the layers and all the memories of stories they've heard come back. And what that is, is that that's, a, that's like a map of the land. So all of this is happening in indigenous communities around Edmonton, right? And so how now, how can we comprehend this now in terms of all the stuff I've talked about? How can we see this as social studies teachers, as educators, as, I guess, an opportunity rather than a pain in the ass, right? So my way of thinking through this is something I call indigenous métissage. So what I'm interested in in my work, in curriculum, I'm interested in, all, first of all, thinking about those interactions between Aboriginal and Canadian. And I say they're indigenous here because they couldn't happen somewhere else. I'm interested in the local stories, remembrances of what happened at particular places. So that's the second part, right? I'm interested in those particular places. And then the third part is the artifacts that are at those places. So when I use the term artifact, I'm thinking in terms of maps. A fort could be an artifact rocks, certain kind of rock formations, a lake like Lac Saint Anne, you know. I think these, the, what this works for me, what this does for me, is that it, they pro it provides kind of an aperture, I guess I could say, into this relationship that is so problematic and helps us try to understand it in more relational ways, more ethically relational.